Hi, this is James with Thermal Battery Systems. Just want to do a quick video here on how our control is coming together. I have everything now mounted inside that 12 inch box and then I've got a drawing of the system taped to the cover of the box for easy reference uh, so anybody that's going to be working on it or the installer is able to uh, quickly reference what's supposed to be going on with the control. Um, it's just a uh, 6 inch deep 12 inch box. Everything's mounted to this uh, acrylic plate and uh, I mounted it, laid it all out on there ahead of time and then mounted everything to it um, and then I put these uh, PVC standoffs in here that the acrylic can set on and then all the wiring is in behind it. Uh, you can see the wiring coming in the top there and then it comes through the, the plate and uh, everything plugs in. It can be plugged in in any order. Uh, the devices are all recognized by their addresses and uh, it's entirely plug and play. This, uh, we're wiring, you know, the relays off of one and two here, and then one, two, and three here are wired right into the takeo box, so those drive the five circuits. So, this is the mechanical drawing. It's not a detailed mechanical drawing that's meant to be an engineered drawing or anything. It's meant to be a reference point and to show people how the various circuits integrate with one another and how the control drives the system. So the circuits 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are A, B, and C here, and then D, and then E. Um, to go through them really quick, A would be the charging circuit for the uh, to put solar energy into the thermal battery so in order for that to happen circuit A would run and E would run and we'd be transferring the energy through the heat exchanger here and then into the transfer tank. Now I haven't shown whether or not this transfer tank is a pressurized uh, system or if it's a non-pressurized. Uh, we have both of them in service. We've used multiple products for that. Um, we prefer non-pressurized but we're working on developing actually uh, uh, um, our own private labeled tank that would do that. Circuit B uh, pulls off the manifold, pumps through the heat pump, through the batteries, and then back to the transfer tank. C is its own earth loop circuit, and then D is the preheat circuit that's going to pull off the solar and put into the domestic water. We then have an extra relay module in that that can drive three stages. Well, it can do more than that, but we're only driving three stages right here, which would be two stages of heat pump and then an extra stage for an electric boiler that's not on the drawing here. Um, in any case, all of that comes pre-programmed, ready to go in the controller. There's things that can be adjusted, uh, but it's all ready to go right out of the box. You simply put the temperature sensors where they're supposed to go and plug it in, turn it on, and it's, it's up and running. Um, the control is also a data logger, so everything that it is doing and the condition of the entire system can be seen online. Um, and uh, you can change the priority between the solar domestic hot water system and the solar going into the battery. So, this is James with Thermal Battery Systems. Thanks for watching.